Welcome back. The latest CDC guidance includes some pointers on COVID-19 testing. Obviously, doing a test at home is often more convenient than going to a clinic or a lab. But you may not know how it's done properly, or maybe you think you are doing it the right way, but perhaps you're not. Mm -hmm. Mandy Gaither shows you how. Masking, social distancing, and of course, vaccination and boosters are the best ways to slow the spread of COVID-19. It is troubling to see these numbers, to see how high the cases are going. But knowing whether you're infected is another weapon against this pandemic. That's where COVID testing comes in. You may be able to avoid long lines if you have access to a rapid test, have been exposed, and don't have symptoms but want to know if you're infected. The CDC recommends you take the test at or close to day five after you're exposed to the coronavirus. 500 million free at-home COVID-19 tests will soon be distributed. We will set up a free and easy system uh, including a new website to get these tests out to Americans. So how do the tests work? Dr. Sanjay Gupta explains. So there's a swab. Most of us are familiar with these by now. So about a half to three quarters of an inch in each nostril, five big circles. Put it in the bottom hole here, shut it, and now we wait. Read the test results only within the time frame specified in the instructions. Here's my COVID test results now. No COVID. So between this test result and me being fully vaccinated, I already feel a lot safer. If the test is positive, the CDC advises isolation to continue for 10 days after symptoms started. If negative, quarantine can stop, but the agency recommends wearing a mask around others until day 10. All right, so if your at home rapid test is positive, experts say you should report those results to not only your doctor, but also your local health department, allowing officials to help keep a better, more accurate record of COVID-19 case counts.